So, a few weeks ago, me and Ezra went to London for a weekend. Um, we were there to visit a couple of friends of ours, they're interns in London, and we thought it would be nice to go and visit them. So anyway, this is the tale of Tim and Ezra in London. Ezra and I met up at Zerthoogbos Central, a train station near our house. From there we took a train to Schiphol in Amsterdam. Schiphol is the biggest airport uh, of the Netherlands and it was from there that we would take our plane to London. Ezra slept through most of the ride there. Um, you can sleep pretty much everywhere. When we arrived at Schiphol Airport it was beautifully decorated. Um, the lights were on from the ceiling and there were Christmas trees everywhere. I actually fell in love with the lights on the windows. They were shaped like miniature cities. Unfortunately, Schiphol is still an airport, and so the decorations fail to really feel cozy. Airports involve a lot of waiting, as anyone who has ever flown will tell you. Our wait was even further extended because our flight was delayed. Guess what? Ezra is bothered. I am. You can't. You have the delay until 10.15. So yeah, I'm bothered. It's safe to say we are bothered. After our extended wait, we finally boarded a train and were flown to London Stansted Airport where we got our luggage and waited for the... Our bus on the way to our friends had free Wi-Fi. Being the internet addicts we are, Ezra and I spent the majority of our trip on our mobile phones. After a while though, I got bored. The bus was lit by this blue light strip that actually had a gorgeous effect on the interior. I spent most of the trip recording London from inside the bus and playing with focus. Finally, we arrived at our destination, Bethnal Green, where we were picked up by Nika, Siske and Khalid. It was about half past one now and Ezra and I were pretty tired, but the sight of the three of them and being able to exchange information with someone else than the other person gave us a bit more energy. The next day, Ezra and I went to Camden Town. I did not take my camera with me for that part. I did, however, bring it when Sitsuke, Nika and I went to Winter Wonderland that night. I'd heard of Winter Wonderland before and Nika and Sitsuke were both very excited about it. Winter Wonderland is a festival held every winter in London around Christmas time. My first impression of it was that it was a big American carnival that you see in Hollywood movies. There were rides everywhere and all around us people were walking around with cotton candy and popcorn while their faces were lit up by the light that seemed to come from everywhere. It had its own distinct beauty. We went home after a while. The whole day in Camden with Ezra and the late night talking the day before had exhausted me quite a bit. The next day we went to the Duke of York shop near Bethnal Green. It's a shop dedicated to different types of ukuleles. I'd seen it online and it was close to Nika, Sitsuke and Khalid's house. During our walk there, we also came across Rick Lane and the little shops there. There was also a bookstore. It was small, but it had a lot of different things. It even had two John Green novels. I bought this copy of Sherlock Holmes. Sonna, or Books and Quills, is also reading the memoirs of Sherlock Holmes right now, and she likes it so far. I also bought a pair of boots since the only shoes I uh, brought were a pair of Vans and it was about 5 degrees Celsius in London when we were there. I decided that I would like to have my toes attached to my foot for another year, so these boots were a good investment. The next morning Ezra and I woke up quite tired. It was our last day in London already and I had agreed to meet up with Marion, a fellow YouTuber at the Albion. It was conveniently located near Bethnal Green, so a short bus ride and walk later. I was near the Albion on Shortest High Street. The Albion is a sort of lunchroom slash bakery. I had a great time with Marion and actually forgot to make any footage of our lunch except for this. After lunch, Marion and I left the Albion and I got my taste of London weather for the first time since we had arrived in the UK. It hadn't really rained until then, but now it was pouring. I took a bus back to Bethnal Green since I had some more time left and I decided to explore this part of London a little more. Also, my girlfriend had asked me if I'd get her a capo for a new ukulele, providing me with an excuse to visit the Duke of York shop and Brick Lane again.
The Duke of Uke shop was usually closed on Mondays, but when I looked through the window, the guy behind the counter just waved me in and helped me anyway. On Brick Lane, I came across this little shop. I'd seen it before in one of Marion's pictures, but I'd never expected to find the same store myself. As you can see, it had all kinds of odd trinkets and maps everywhere. What stuff they sold and what was just on display was not quite clear to me, and for a moment I wondered to whom the people of the store would sell this stuff to. I went back to Bethnal Green for the last time. It was time for Ezra and I to head home. We took a bus from Bethnal Green to the airport, an hour and a half long ride that Ezra of course slept through. From there it was just a short flight home. London is a great city that I love to visit, and this trip was no exception. We had a blast.